Hey, we have here today another integral from the MIT Integration B 2014. This is problem 14, and this will be the last one I'm doing on the 2014 exam. I'm going out of order, so that's why you may see you may see 19 before you see 14. Okay, we have the integral of arc sine or inverse sine all squared dx. Okay, so what we could do to start, if we wanted to, we could probably go straight to integration by parts. I didn't try it that way, because I think what I want to do is a u substitution and just do it like more in two steps. So if I set my u equal to what we have here, so u will be our arc sine of x, then taking the derivative, our du is gonna be one over square root of one minus x squared dx. And then what I can do, let's just solve it for dx. So dx is just, we'll take the reciprocal here, and we're gonna have square root of one minus x squared. And what I wanna do is let's get this, and I wanna get this all in terms of u. So let's kind of play with this for a second. I can write this as sine of u equal to x, and then we can actually draw our triangle. We have our right triangle with the angle u. We know that u is opposite over hypotenuse, so we have a ratio of x to one, and then I have that here in my triangle. We're just using this triangle to look at the ratio of the sides, and so we just wanna solve for this third side. Typically, I'll just find the third side by inspection, but if you did need to, if you do have a hard time with that and you want to solve for it, you could just use the Pythagorean theorem, which tells us that one side, a squared, plus x squared, equals the third side, one squared. And then we want to solve for our a, so we'll have a squared equals one minus x squared. Taking a square root on both sides, we have a, and we ignore the negative value of this because we know if it's a side length, it has to be positive. So for our a, we're gonna have the square root of one minus x squared. And then back to what we're trying to do, we wanna find this value of one minus x squared. Well, it turns out that cosine of u is gonna be adjacent over hypotenuse, so cosine of u is our one minus x squared. And from that, we can write our dx. We can write this one minus x squared as cosine of u, and we'll have our du. Okay, so from here now, we can do our substitution. We're gonna have, we're just gonna have a u squared then we're gonna have cosine of u du. And this will be perfect for integration by parts. We can differentiate this u squared and it'll reduce. We can integrate, sorry, we can differentiate it to zero. So what we'll do is for integration by parts, we're gonna do the DI method, tabular integration, and we're just gonna differentiate u squared and we're gonna integrate cosine of u. And then differentiating first, just because it's easier, u squared, derivative of u squared is two u. Derivative of 2u is 2. Derivative of 2 is 0. And we'll stop. Then integrating cosine of u, we're going to have sine u. Integral of that is going to be minus cosine u. And then we're going to have minus sine u. Okay, and for our solution to this, we're just going to take our diagonals and not forgetting the signs. And then we won't worry about this last row. This last row will be an integral because there's a 0. We're not going to integrate that. So it's just going to be 0. Okay, so writing out these diagonals, we're gonna have u squared times sine u for the first one. Then we're gonna have minus times minus, here's a plus. So we're gonna have plus two u cos u. And then here we're gonna have a minus two sine u. Then back, back substituting for u squared, we're gonna have arc sine x squared, but, and then sine u is just x, okay? Then we're gonna have plus two another arc sine, and then for cosine u, we found that earlier, that was square root of one minus x squared from our triangle, okay? And then we're gonna have minus two sine u again, it's just x plus c, and that's it, we're done. Thanks everybody for watching, please like and subscribe. Have a good day today.